Greetings, greetings, uh, Sports to the Bone family. Back at it, back at it again, my viewers and subscribers. All right, my peeps. So, a couple of things I want to share with you guys in this one. So, the West Indies women, they lost again today to India. Uh, probably the only good thing that came from that game is the fact that we had two of the under-19 girls making their senior debut. You know, so we're going to talk about how they performed, how the game went. And I'm also going to take a look at a game that was played in the UAE T20 League today. We had uh, Ravman Powell and the Delhi Capitals getting the better of Sunil Narain, uh, Russell Hussein and the Abu Dhabi Knight Riders. Plus, we want to take a look at former player, uh, West Indies player Kyron Pollard, who is in a good patch of form over there in that same league. And we're also going to take a look at uh, Australian opener uh, David Warner who won the Australia Cricket of the Year, Cricketer of the Year. And I must tell you, a lot of tongues wagging my peeps, people wondering how is it that he got that. So I'm going to touch on that a little bit, all right? Just hit that subscribe button as you listen if you have not yet subscribed. So earlier today, the West Indies women, they lost uh, their T20 game against India. And um, it, was, it was a heavy defeat also. But before I give you the actual numbers, so uh, James, Zeta James and Janella Glasgow, those are the two young ladies from the under, that played in the under-19 um, tournament just the other day. They were called up and they got an opportunity to do their thing. You know, I must say that I'm extremely proud of them, especially James. Um, James got an opportunity to bat and, you know, she was able to get some runs under her belt. Only Haley Matthews uh, actually outscored her. So, going go through it, my peeps. Um, it's actually our 10th defeat in a row. 10th defeat in a row, my peeps. Uh, not, not, a lot, not a lot of positives to talk about in that one. So, we actually made 94 for 6. Matthews made half of that score, you can say. 94 for 6 with Matthews getting run about half of the score. Um, she got third, well, not even half, pretty close to half, not half of the score, but close to half. She got 34 from 34 deliveries. So even though we have been losing, you know, Matthew's form is still there. She's still performing with the bat as captain, performs with the ball also. But you know, as a captain, they are going to judge you based on the amount of games that you are able to win for your team and not necessarily your personal record so uh 94 for six and matthews got 34 from 34 james as i said um doing well she got 21 of 31 21 um 21 of 31 not out and um you know i think she she came in at round about number six so it's good to see her doing her thing glasgow she didn't get a chance to bat so only james was able to um show her worth with the bat in this game india they made light work of of, of it they won the game by eight wickets so they got up to 95 for two of their 20 overs so 95 for two of their 20 overs you know so that's another defeat for the west indian women uh courtney walsh and his team they are definitely going to have to take a look at um a formula that 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 will give them uh, more victories um i don't know how many of you guys saw the live show that we did yesterday but you can check it out you know we were talking about um certain factors that that, that you can say affecting the team where we are not winning games. So we definitely go and keep a close eye on Courtney Wash and his team as they look to bounce back from this very horrible um, triangular series here. So that is how that game went, my viewers and subscribers. Not much to talk about um, where that is concerned. Now, the UAE T20 League, we had a couple of our Caribbean people in action. Uh, Ravman Powell playing for the Delhi Capitals. Went up against Hussein, uh, Sunil Narain and uh, Andre Russell. So Powell, he got 21 off 14, not out as he was able to guide his team to victory. So the Abu Dhabi Knight Riders, they made 149. And um, in that, Narain made tw 23. Russell got 12. Hussein also got 12. So Ravman Powell and his team, they were able to get past that 149, scoring 150. For three, as I said, Powell getting 21, not out. Um, 
you know, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know my viewers and subscribers about Poel. Poel is definitely um, in a in a good vein of form. I am hoping that by the time we 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 are ready to go over to South Africa to play the white ball series, you know, the T20 and the ODI, hoping that his form will still be there. I am assuming that by then we would have already known our white ball captain. I am thinking that um, Russell, uh, I am thinking that Powell will be named the captain. So definitely would want to see him um, bring that form over, over there. So shout out to, um, to, to, to Powell. Uh, staying in the UAE, the former West Indies player Kyron Pollard is in some good vein of form as you would have seen on the thumbnail there getting uh, three centuries, three half centuries, <laughs> talking about three centuries, getting three half centuries in his last three games, getting in the 80s, I think got a 50 um, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, a couple of half centuries under his belt, three in total in the last three games. So, you know, um, Karan Pollard is showing that, listen, I might be out of the IPL. I might be coaching now, but these are the leagues that are a step below the, the, the IPL and a step below international cricket. I am still capable of dominating. So, um, good to see him, um, still entertaining his fans because Goes without saying, you know, the, the fans of the players will always remain fans until the, even when the players retire. Um, retire. So, um, Pollard, Pollard doing his thing. Quite a few of the West Indians performing well over there, man. Pollard and, and, and Powell alongside Puran, they are probably the standout performers. Pollard, Powell and Puran are probably the standout performers over there. Um, Fletcher doing his thing also. So, you know, shout out to them. Alright, the final thing before I jump out of here, my viewers and subscribers. David Warner picking up Australia Cricketer of the Year. And I have been reading some stuff online and not a lot of people agree with David Warner getting this, um, getting this award. Some people saying that this is Cricket Australia um, asking David Warner for forgiveness based on the situation that they went through, you know, snubbing him where the captain is concerned. And um, one bag of thing, my viewers and subscribers, I, I am not too sure if David Warner um, did enough work in 2022 to, to, to get um, that award there. Um, the, the, the thing is, he plays, he, he's, he's usually in all three formats of the game, so probably they are looking at that. But you know, quite a few players had 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 so had a solid year. You understand? Marnus didn't didn't do too badly. Ended up the ended up um, at number one at the end of the year, I think, in Test cricket. But as you know, he's only really Test him. He's dominating in like that. Uh, but you had guys like Adam Zappa and a couple of other guys that were that that were good right throughout. But I don't know. I don't know. As they like to say, it's rich people business that I, I, I just, I just mentioned it in my piece because I was reading and, you know, just, just brain, just thinking back. I can't remember David Warner having a solid year like that. Um, where he would have outperformed all of the Australians right across the board to get that. So, you know, I'm just throwing the question out there. Do you guys think there is any merit to that where they are saying, um, this is, this is Australia, cricket Australia, um, telling, asking David Warner for forgiveness? I don't know. Big up on yourself, my peeps. I will touch base again later on. Zane.